I visited Buhari to discuss Igbo presidency. Articles in Shegun Shumi slams obedience. I don't understand. You left words to go and discuss a Igbo presidency with him uh, with a Buhari. I don't understand. You didn't discuss it with him when he was there. And who is the uh, Buhari to for you to discuss so that he see the owner of Nigeria? I don't understand this uh, whole thing. Hmm? Shegun Shumi, the former spokesman to the People's Democratic Party. PDP presidential candidate Alaja Tikuka Babaka campaign organization has replied obedience who tackled him for visiting former president Muhammad Buhari in Daura. So do you have a group of uh, obedience who now attacked you or people just attack you because you believe uh, anybody who is bold to talk, to, to condemn your action in one way or the other, you automatically tame them obedience. I'm just asking. Well, According to him, he visited Buhari to know his thoughts about the possibility of a Nigeria president from the Southeast. He also said he was there for a discussion on the future of Nigeria. He? Does this uh, statement, does it really make, you know, this statement, does it really make sense? Future of Nigeria with Buhari who destroyed Nigeria, finish. He was there, he did not even bring Nigeria out of the wood. You are saying, when he, you, are, you are discussing with him when he has left the office. This matter, you know, you know, really jello. Can you imagine? Possibility of a Nigerian president from the south is is visible because of that. He also said he was there for a discussion on the future of Nigeria. According to him, he visited the former president to learn from his oh my goodness, to learn from his experience. Since having served Nigeria for 80 years, I beg you, I go sit down. This one not make sense at all. You visited Buhari for because of his experiences. Like, seriously, ha, ah, this is Shegun Shumi. I used to look like a very intelligent person. So, does it be, does it mean because if you people are not with, we're, we're not with the ruling party, or we are not, you are not with the government of the day, or you don't have opportunity with the government of the day, you begin to lose your integrity. You are four people that we know you know what, you know, you are so intelligent. You know, when you talk of, you know, very articulated person and you are giving these flimsy excuses, you expect us to take it from you? From, you know, Buhari say, a, a, a worth of knowledge. Ah. So if you don't see anybody, now Nigeria has been destroyed. One day now you go and tell us, of course, majority of some people like you always hail Tinumbu. If people can hate Tinumbu, ah. That a Tinubu did this is static chances in this is a whatever it is a strategy. We'll see what is happening in Nigeria now. Is Nigeria better for it? Is Lagos better for it? Ha. To go and meet Buhari because uh, from his experience having served Nigeria for eight years, show me recently attracted criticism after sharing photo of his visit to the former president on his social media account. The former article spokesperson, however, expressed disappointment over the reception he got from the obedience after the visit, insisting he was only trying to be broadening or was trying to broaden the discussion on Southeast presidency. His visit to Dara came barely a few days after another spokesperson for the Atiku Abubakar presidential campaign, Dani Boala, also visited President Bola Tinubu. He said, I have been seeing for some time now what is going on here something was not adding up then i went to visit the president of whom you know i go to often and i was agonized agonizing to him that look mister you people can feed yourself but we can't feed ourselves so the second thing is that the south Easterners are quite upset with their desire to be president and i said let me go to him and have a conversation on that Mr. We collaborated with ourselves to give Yoruba the presidency when June 12th happened. Are we going to watch the Southeastern struggle and be angry? Do you people have a way of figuring it out? This thing. We grew up believing that there was one dot that can stabilize the others when they start to quarrel, but you have lost the old of the middle bit. People are dying there. And if you are running the race, you are going to lose the Northeast because when the Northwest stands up for election, the Northeast backs them. But when the Northeast stands up for election, you people pretend as if there is 
another alternative discussion. There were kinds of uh, conversations I went to have with the former president. I would have given you answers. I got from Buhari, but the obedience, the Peter Ubi people, I was trying, like, let's broaden the conversation. Let's broaden the discussion. They were down to angry with those abuses. And I was like, what is going on here? If everybody wants to be tribalistic, then I will be tribal as well. Oh God, go and sit down. You know, just, you know, just, you know, makes sense. So, obedience now at the egos now because I don't understand it. <clears throat> I don't understand what this man is saying. Ah, this man, he formed my hand. Now, you know what you define. Of course, you have already told the Buala to keep space for you in APC. So, all this uh, nonsense, I think you are just parabolizing because nobody saying you all those nonsense. Why you not discuss this kind of a thing? When it's supposed to be the turn of the Yorubas, the turn of the Igbos, when Tinubu the turn at the turn of the Yorubas. See, eh, we have gone beyond all this nonsense of a, of a thing. Anybody who wants to be president should make Nigeria better. That is what we even want. What is nonsense? I think you should be talking about the person that is already there now. You know, I don't know which which way he got there. People should stand very firm and 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 condemn all the nonsense policies that uh, Tinubu has been ruling out. That is what we are. You're supposed to be talking. Igbo, what has? See, go and put a useless Igbo person there. You no matter how you negotiate, because from the look of things, because everything is all about party party, uh, they have to add, enter some sort of agreement. And once you get there, you can't go out of that agreement. And that's what that was why in one of my video I was saying that uh, what is really wrong because the politicians' agenda. You know, different from what the people are really expecting from them. And it, it now becomes a, a, a very serious uh, issue. Like, you don't even understand. Before they get into power, they speak the language. They talk like the language of the people. But as soon as they get there, it's a different thing altogether. And that is why Nigerians are baffling. That why is it that these politicians are like this? Even if you go and get a, a, a useless, and I've been saying it, it is not a by a ego man must be there. If you don't have the right person, just like we don't have the right person, if you even if a, people are even angry that oh it is not supposed to be the turn of the Yoruba, and you have a responsible, a reasonable, a man who has integrity, a man the affairs of this country and doing the right thing, everybody's going to forget to. And I'm always using this analogy: you want to go to the UK, you want to go to Canada, you want to go to the US. Are you going there with the intention that a Yoruba man or an Igbo man or a Osa man is the president or prime minister or whatever the, the, the practice there to be the, to, to be the leader in that country? Are you going with that kind of mindset? No, you are not going there. It does not even bother you. But because things are working, you don't even see people who are even governing. They don't even know you. But system has been put in place for things to work out. And once you abide with the rules and regulations, fine. But Nigeria, you abide with rules and regulations, it will not favor you until you did the wrong thing. So why are we always talking about a ego presidency, this and this and that? Oh. Mm. This is this is un un unbelievable. From Shegun Shumi, say this nonsense thing. What is this guy talking about? Who do you think you are talking with? That you went to get a meeting in Buhari to discuss the bad ego presidency. Who say you? Your people are crying, a bank by me, a bank by me. You are not even addressing that issue. People who are who, who can feed themselves, they are saying yes again. What is the presidency? Who would the presidency there don't help? Who you don't help? It has not helped anybody. And you are coming to tell us a story that uh, do not add up. So, guys, let's say talk second base, Jerry. Let's know what you think.